Good morning, my royalty Israelite family. How you doing? I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Now, with that being said, let us get started with the spoil of Kadi, which is our people, the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? The Kadins is us royalty, 12 tribes of Israel, all right, my people? Then, darling, the king made a decree, and search was made in the house of the books. You hear that? Books, people. We got books and books for days, okay? Where the treasures were laid up in Babylon. Ezra chapter 6, verse 1. The Kadi shall be a spoil. That means the 12 tribes shall be a spoil. They're going to take all our shit, people. Okay, they took all our shit, I should say. Okay. All that spoil her shall be satisfied. Come against her from the upper border. Open her storehouses. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10 and verse 26. When the prophet long ago told of the future spoiling of Kadi of the twelve tribes of Israel, who could have foreseen of how much more than earthly or temporal value to the church of God our fathers are endless, okay? And his church ain't on this earth right now, people. So all that shit out there talking about church, this, this, throw all that shit in the dark matter, okay? That belongs to the priest of Mahan. Would be the result of the opening of the storehouses of Babylon. The great enemy to God, our fathers are endless, and his people, the twelve tribes of Israel, in the olden time. The disinterred storehouse, the disinterred stores of Chaldee in Assyria, now those are the people they're talking about, okay, have done much to vindicate the truth of Scripture, and may yet do more. When so many impeachments of its truth have resulted in abundant acquittal, and it need not trouble us if against a few we can as yet only write not proven but we can write this very clearly and legibly while we wait for the links which are lacking in the chain of evidence because they done fucked up everything and hiding shit okay so much reference has made so much reference has been made in these pages to the ancient terra, terracotta Kadeen tablet. You hear that? Tablets, people. More than one, okay? That it seems necessary before closing the book to devote a chapter to some further notice of them. This chapter will be rather supplementary to the subject hitherto discussed then continue. But in it will be found some points more or less directly connected with what has gone before. After, in 1846, Sir H. Layer found at Kalyunjet, Kalyunjet, my people, okay, Mount, the Kalyunjet Mount of Ruin, Nineveh, the vast but much broken library of Ashurbanipal, Sword of Napolis, the king, Mr. Rasun, in 1881, made the still more amazing discovery of the well-preserved library at Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Sephiroth was so ancient a city that Barossa tells of it that Barossa tells of it that it supplied five out of the ten. It's now it supplied. Listen, what it supplied, my people. It supplied five out of the ten antediluvian kings. You understand? Supplied their asses without knowledge. In other words, those damn thieves, my people. Okay. These two libraries by no means represent the most ancient books in the world. You hear that? Ancient books, people. 
We got a lot of books, okay? Millions, all right? Mr. Barwin says, scholars soon recognize the fact that the clay tones from the library, the clay tones of our people from the library of Ash of Bonaparte was, were, but late, okay? And one might almost say pirated. Well, you know it was pirate, uh, pirated. Many of y'all ass stole that shit with your stupid <laughs> Editions of older works in the library of the motherland of Kadi. Now, the motherland of Kadi, my people, of the 12 tribes of Israel. You already know the motherland is right here, America. So, all right, y'all ass over here stealing shit like y'all crazy ass do all the time. Steal, steal, steal. Well, your stealing time is up, okay? Now, once again, my people, and one might almost say pri privated editions of older works in the libraries of the motherland of Kadi. That's our land, America, fool. All right, there, there you go. To these, then they must turn it. Let me do this again because uh, my eyes playing tricks on me, okay? <laughs> I'm tired. To these, then they must turn if they would study the ground text, the ground text of the literature of the nation of Cree. He proceeded to show that further discoveries have restored to us a vast mass of literature containing older and varied editions of the text in the Assyrian King's Library. Still, our quest for the first editions is not ended, for these documents revealed it to us the existence of older texts in the primitive cities, older than Great Babylon itself. You understand? Older than Great Babylon itself. And Bonaparte, who resigned, who resigned it jointly and alone from BC 673 to BC 626, enriched his library not only with new books, but also by diligently procuring, procuring copies of a vast number of the ancient tones accessible, accessible to him. So careful were his scribes in making these copies that were a fracture occurrence in the original, there is always a note to the effect. Now, there's always a note to the effect, my people, okay? You understand that? Lacuna, or a recent lacuna, alternative characters are given where the scribes were uncertain to what Assyrian character the Babylonian original corresponded, and at times a frank confession of the in inability of the copyist to understand his copy. I do not know. That's what they said when they couldn't figure shit out. Hell no. And each copy <laughs> and each copy committed to the care of the librarian was duly certified by it was duly certified by a co firm at the end, such as conformably with the ancient tablet and documented of instruction of the Asher Bonaparte and okay in a and okay in parallel columns or according to the tablets in parallel columns of Babylon or like its old copy copied and published. Tablets of Issachar, some Osis, chief scribe of the chief scribe of Anne Bonaparte, the king of Legion, the king of Assyria, the son. Now pay attention, my people. The son of 
of Nil Erva, the son of Nila Sir Nilsura, chief of the Penmen. Others will be seen in the appendix. The book found at the book found now people they let's tell you in La Sar. The book found at La Sar, the Elisar of Genesis chapter fourteen, now sin care is a thousand years older than a duplicate copy of it in the British Museum. And that older one was ancient when it was copied from La Sar. The oldest original ins inscriptions yet discovered are those found at Teho by the French consult to Baghdad M. the Saifet. They are like the earliest writing known in the Akkadian language. In the parallel columns mentioned above, the scribe of and Bonaparte copied the original Akkadian text, our text, okay, and line by line beside it or below it wrote the Assyrian translation. This is enough to attest the antiquity of the originals, but it is not all for the variation in the three existing copies of in the three existing copies of the one work prove that the one from which they were transcribed was itself a copy taken from a still older work. You understand? So these are all copies taken from older work than them, okay? Of which the original text had received it into linger comments. Some of the copyists have introduced these into the text. Others have omitted them, comparing together these and other indications of antiquity, it is not unreasonable to say that since a copy made in the 7th century before our Aisha, our Messiah, was taken from a book which about a thousand years before that had been copied from one which was then older. The writings must be very ancient indeed. So they know we got ancient writings, my people, with the thief in ass. All they do is steal shit. <laughs> Hell no. And all this harmonizes well with the tradition, which possibly might be, which possibly might we not say properly, a historical fact handed down in writing. Recorded by the Kadeens, us Israelite, twelve twice. The Kadeens historian, Bazar, Barossa, that Nor buried his books before the devilish. He says the great devilish took place under, now he, this is who he said took place under, okay, under Exor, ex, extorsis. Nor the God each appeared to him in a dream and announced it that on the fifteenth of the month they they rose <laughs> they roses, I mean day osis a little before the summer of sorceress, all men should perish by a flood. He was therefore to collect all that was corresponded to writings and bury it it and bury it at sep <laughs> my people my tongue is getting tired and bury it at sephora the city of the sun you hear that sephora is the city of the sun my people there he was to build a vessel and so on after describing the building of the ark the entry of its animals and human tenters. 
Okay, my people, you understand?